The paper discusses the pre-launch spectral characterization of the operational land imager, OLI, at the component, assembly and instrument levels and relates results to artifacts observed in on-orbit imagery. The OLI in-band response was characterized both at the integrated instrument level for a sampling of detectors and by an analytical stack-up of component measurements. The out-of-band response was characterized using a combination of focal plane module, FPM, level measurements and optical component level measurements due to better sensitivity. Spectral variability can induce striping, banding, and other artifacts in the final data products. Analyses of the measured spectral response showed that the maximum discontinuity between FPMs due to spectral filter differences is 0.35% for selected targets, for all bands except for Cirrus, where there is almost no signal. The average discontinuity between FPMs is 0.12% for the same targets. Pre-launch testing identified low levels of spectral crosstalk amongst the three HGCDT, Cirrus, SWR1 and SWR2, bands of the OLI, and on-orbit data confirms this crosstalk in the imagery. The strongest crosstalk effect is from the SWR1 band to the Cirrus band. About 0.2% of SWR1 signal leaks into the Cirrus. Though the total crosstalk signal is only a few counts, it is evident in some scenes when the in-band Cirrus signal is very weak. In moist Cirrus-free atmospheres and over typical land surfaces, at least 30% of the Cirrus signal was due to the SWR1 band. In the SWR1 and SWR2 bands, crosstalk accounts for no more than 0.15% of the total signal. This article was authored by Julia A. Barcy, Kenton Lee, Gear Creeran, and others. We are article.tv. Links in the description below.